only on Christ 17 TV. Back up side your head with another one. Today, Young Thug YSL trial is over and Young Thug is being freed. But the shit they got him going through is crazy. Young Thug's conditions include banned from Atlanta, where he's from. Has to do four presentation concerts a year against gang violence, but they have to but he has to do the concerts in Atlanta. I'm banned from Atlanta, but I gotta do four presentations or concerts a year against gang violence in Atlanta. Can travel for work to make music. No contact with gang members or co-defendants except for his brother and gunner. Cannot promote gangs in any way. And this is Young Thug's 15-year probation. Ain't that crazy. So, here we go. I'm banned from ATL, but I can come back to do presentations or concerts that goes against gang violence. That sounds so fucking stupid. You're going to ban me from the city I'm from, where I live at, my family's at, but I can come back to Atlanta for these presentations against gang violence. Why did they just ban him, right? From the ATL for... 10 years, and make him do that somewhere else. Because that makes no sense to bring him to Atlanta for concerts against gang violence if he's banned from there for 10 years. You know how hard it's going to be for this man to stay out of trouble for 15 years and could possibly get a 20-year sentence if he gets in any trouble? Boy, I'm telling you, boy, them suspended sentences is crazy. You do some shit like that, that's putting, uh, like, time on layaway. 15 years without getting in no trouble is pretty hard these days, any day. You know what I'm saying? But he's freed. He took, he was guilty, 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 no contest, no contest, no contest. Guilty for the machine gun, guilty for some other shit, but... Uh, on the Rico shit, no contest. So his lawyers is the lawyers that Little Dirk needs to get out of his jet. This was the longest trial in the history of Georgia, two and a half years. They were trying to get a mistrial. The judge was thrown out of there. Everything was upside down in that whole trial. It was funny. Woody was comedy the whole fucking shit. He was comedy. So now, Woody's doing his thing, getting money. He's free now. Young Thug is free now. So now all Young Thug has to do is make music, but he can't make any gang music. He's got to make, like, like, Drake music, shit like that. I mean... He was looking at all day, and to be getting freed on the terms you got, so what? You got the terms you fucking got, stay away from all them motherfuckers. Stay with your family, your kids, move somewhere else, get you a house, and just stay in the booth just making music. That's what I can say about that. So, if he's banned from Atlanta, where... Is he allowed to live at? Because they're talking about he can only travel to make music. This is tough. I mean, I've been watching this trial a little bit here and there for a long time. The thing we got from this is Woody is funny as hell. When he told, what was it? <laughs> he told the <laughs> he told the DA as she that she stink. That was fucking hilarious. But I will be saying this though. He's free. He gets to see his family. So no matter what conditions he got, it's better than sitting there and rotting in a fucking jail, rotting in prison, and do it all that time. You know what I'm saying? You. That's why I be, I be saying to kids, stay out of gangs because once you get 
caught up. They throw all these extra charges, RICO charges, gang enhancements, all this shit that carries 10, 10 years plus. And then when it all comes down to it, you come out of jail, you can't even be around the gang members. You do violation right back to prison, county, wherever they going to have you at. But this here, this is a blessing for, for his children, for his family, and for Young Thug himself. So, is Young Thug and Gunner going to make music together? I'm going to say yeah. I'm going to say hell yeah. This was a crazy trial. It was a circus. Up and down. And he's home. The conditions are crazy and it's set up for him to fail. But all he got to do is just stay to himself, stay out of trouble, and just find you somewhere to live and just make music. Just make music. You can make... He's going to make so much money just going on tour for his old music. And all the shit they about to stream and do that, he's finna get some bread. He's Young Thug is finna be just fine. Look, look at everybody. Gunner, he came out that shit. He's making music. His shit been at the top of the charts. Woody came home. He's on all these different platforms. Interviews. Funny as hell. He doing 20... 20 and 1 with Charleston White. He with FYB, J-Man. I mean, they making content and it's great content. And salute to Woody for coming out, getting the bag, and being funny as hell. He's a serious dude, but he could be funny too. So with that being said, man, it's Christ 17 TV. Young, young Thug will be free. Going home to his kids, to his family to have a great celebration but he's hit with a 15-year probation, banned from Atlanta, can't be around no gang members, co-defendants, and he can't rap about nothing gang stuff. So, I think he came out real good. So what if he can't rap thug, thuggish, ruggish, ruggish? You feel me? Get your bread, go on tours. I mean, just make good-ass fucking music. And that's it, and you'll be back on top by the time you know it. Salute to you. Free that man, get home, get you a nice fucking meal, get you some loving from your girl, and get back to the bag. Chase that bag, because you've been down for two and a half with no bail, and it's time for you to get your mail and stack your shit from the flow through the ceiling, player. And this is Christ 17 TV. And I will be catching you guys on the flip side, player. Christ 17 TV.